The MixPre 10T from Sound Devices is their latest recorder in the MixPre series. In terms of functionality with the same features of the MixPre 3 and MixPre 6, they are the same. It has the same cashmere preamps. They call it cashmere. As the previous MixPre recorders, as well as analog limiters and an amazing headphone amp. However, the MixPre 10T has added some things that you need to be aware of. For starters, there are more inputs and more record tracks. As you can see, there are eight analog inputs on combo XLR slash quarter inch jacks. Inputs nine and 10 are on the stereo mini connector. In addition to the two outputs on the stereo mini jack, there is another pair of outputs on two TA3 connectors. This adds much more flexibility to the MixPre 10T as you can assign the stereo mini output for something like an IFB or send to another recorder. And you can also then use the TA3 outputs for something like a camera send. On the front of the recorder are two new things in addition to more channel knobs, the user assignable switch and the multifunction knob. The spring-loaded user assignable switch has two positions for two user assignable functions. And those functions are assigned in the menu. When you move the switch to the left or right, it will automatically go back to the center. To assign things to this switch, go to the third page of the main menu and you will see shortcuts. Select that, you will see both shortcut options. Select one of those and there is a two page menu where you can assign what you want to each shortcut. I have chosen to have the left switch be the slate mic and the right switch to be tone. Speaking of slate and tone, these are two features that are new in the MixPre 10T that are not in the MixPre 3 or MixPre 6. You can assign the slate mic to the user assignable switch like I've just demonstrated, or you can turn it on in the menu. When you have it assigned to the switch, you don't need to hold the switch. Just flip it over once, allow it to come back to the center, and the slate mic will be active. To deactivate it, move the switch again. It's the same with tone. The tone on the MixPre 10T can be assigned to any track and any output that you like. To access this menu setting, go to the second page of the main menu and select tone slash slate. Then go to the second page of that sub menu and select tone routing. You can then assign which tracks and outputs you want the tone to go to via the knob on the right side of the recorder. Turn the knob to highlight the track or output you want and then press the knob to assign it or unassign it. It is in this menu that you can also adjust the level of your slate mic, adjust tone level, and other things. The slate mic is automatically routed to all tracks. An internal timecode generator is another huge addition to the MixPre 10T. You still have timecode on the stereo mini input and the HDMI input, but the new timecode I.O. is on two BNC connectors. You can access the timecode menu from the second page of the main menu. Once there, you can change the timecode mode, you can set the frame rate, you can jam it, and you can change the source from BNC to aux in depending on which timecode input you are using. You can manually set the timecode and several other things. Having this ability is a giant step up for the MixPre 10T because now you don't have to have an external timecode box constantly connected to the recorder like you do with the MixPre 6 and MixPre 3. You can have the MixPre 10T be the timecode master if you want and jam timecode boxes from it and put those on cameras as needed. One obvious new addition on the front panel is the transport control rocker knob. This multifunction knob allows you to record, stop, select files for playback, and then play those files. When the machine is in standby mode, the ring around the knob is orange. When it is in record, it is red. When it is playing back, it is green. Powering options are the same as the Mix Pre 3 and Mix Pre 6, with one very important addition. The MixPre 10T has a 4-pin Hiroshi connector, so you can now easily power the recorder from an external power source without having to purchase an additional power adapter. Auto copy via a USB thumb drive is another new feature of the MixPre 10T. 
you can insert a USB thumb drive into the USB-A port on the Mix Pre 10T and it will automatically start copying the current project to the USB thumb drive once you've started recording. If you have files on the internal SD card and insert the USB thumb drive, it will not automatically start copying those files. You can also manually copy the project files from the internal SD card to the USB thumb drive in the menu. At the end of the day, you may need to wait a few minutes for the recorder to copy over the last remaining data before you can remove it. A list of supported USB thumb drives is on the Sound Devices website, and there is a link in the description below. When you insert a new USB thumb drive, it will need to be formatted. The Mix Pre 10T will ask to format a new thumb drive right away. Or you could format it from the SD card menu, which is on the third page of the main menu. The status of the USB copying is in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. When the little icon blinks yellow, that means it is copying. It also tells you how much record time is available on the thumb drive. The Mix Pre 10T has the ability to create sound reports. Within the project submenu, you are able to enter details about the job you are on, and those will be put into the sound report. The sound report is saved as an Excel file in the folder for that day's project. So that pretty much sums up the new features of the Mix Pre 10T. If you have any questions, email me, DaveF at DVEStore.com. Please subscribe to this channel, and when you do, make sure you click on that little bell next to the subscribe button. When you do that, you'll get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.